So yeah, plan right. Uh, so it's a whole life uh, insurance product and it's for final expense. So it's non-participating. So there are no dividends for it. And typically what you're using this product for is going to be for somebody who wants to pay for their final expenses or probate fees, or, you know, they want to leave some money to a loved one, maybe pay for those final expenses or cremation or burial, whatever it might be. There's three different types uh, that you can qualify for. And uh, we'll kind of go through some of the, um, some of the different parts of uh, the plan right here. <clears throat> you know, it's a uh, preferred standard or basic. It does have a guaranteed uh, level premium, guaranteed cash value and death benefit. As long as you pay your premiums, it's good all the way till age 121. And the application process is actually pretty simple. There's no exam, it's final expense. So we're just doing the, the application and then we do a phone interview and check the MIB and we'll cover some of that here uh, in a second. So um, pretty simple, like I said, we, we do an application. And once we do that, you're, you're going to be doing a phone interview. And during that phone interview is where we actually do the MIB check. We do the prescription history check. We look at your height and weight, kind of compare all those answers and then make our decision. We're not doing exams, no APS, no, you know, swabs, uh, none of that. So pretty simple. There's only two risk class, though. So you're either non-tobacco or tobacco. Uh, Non-tobacco would be no use of any tobacco products or nicotine products in the last 12 months. So tobacco is going to be chewing, smoking, cigars, cigarettes, vaping, um, nicorette gum, patches, things like that. And once the certificate is, is issued, uh, there are no changes allowed to the underwriting class. So we have a 90-day uh, change uh, that you can do on, on really most of our plans. But once the policy is issued, if somebody like quits smoking two years down the road, if they want to get non-smoking rates or non-tobacco rates, they would have to reapply or buy a new plan. So um, there's three different levels you can qualify for. So there's preferred and standard and basic. So preferred and standard are going to be your level death benefit, day one coverage, uh, benefits based on 100% of that face amount. The basic plan is a graded or modified plan. So that's going to have a two-year wait. If you were to die in the first two years of an illness, it's going to be return of premium plus 10% interest. And then starting year three, it's going to be good for the full, uh, full face amount. Um, unless you were to die of an accident. So if you were basic and you got in, you know, a car crash and died in the first two years, then it would pay out the full amount. So uh, preferred is going to be our best rating class, the best pricing, and that's going to be for ages 50 to 85. Uh, up through age 80, you can get up to 35,000. Uh, up to age 85, it's going to be 15,000. Standard, which is uh, still going to be day one uh, level death benefit. It just is going to cost more than preferred. That's going to be same ages, 50 to 85. Uh, up to age 80, you can go 20,000. Up to 85, you can get 10,000. And then the basic plan or the graded benefit is going to go up to age 80, and that's up to 15,000. And if they're 81 uh, or older and they qualify for basic, then they wouldn't be eligible for the plan, right? Coverage uh, does go to age 121, at which time it would endow, meaning your cat, you know, if you bought a $10,000 policy at, at age 121, if you're still living, it's going to be worth $10,000 cash. The cash value is guaranteed. How much, you know, how quickly that builds up is going to be based on gender and tobacco and, and which type that you have. But we do have a guaranteed cash value amount that goes out with the certificate when it is delivered. That'll show them where it's exactly the cash value is guaranteed to be. The premiums, um, we accept either a bank draft, so a pre-authorized checking from a checking or savings account, or they can write a personal check. Um, subsequent premiums after that would be either the, you know, the, the PAC plan, uh, or if they choose direct billing, we can send out a bill. We do not do it monthly, so it would have to be at least every three months, six, or every 12 months, we could send out a, a direct bill for that. And as far as like initial draft dates, what's pretty unique about this product is you can actually go out 45 days. So if you, somebody wants coverage for middle of September, you know, you can go out there basically, you know, the end of July or beginning of August, and you can post your, push it out 45 days. 
The um, phone interviews are, are good for 45 days. As far as drafting options, you do have some different options. You can either have them drafted immediately upon approval or upon issue date, uh, or you can choose a specific date. So you might wanna choose the 5th or the 12th or any day between the 1st and the 28th you can choose. And then on this product, you also can choose the specific day of the month. So a lot of times you'll see this used for people that are on social security. In this example, they get paid like the second Wednesday of every month, then you can draft it on the second day or second Wednesday of every month so that you can match that social security payment. Uh, premiums are payable to age 121. What's not allowed for payments is uh, we don't accept cash. Uh, you cannot post date checks or use money orders, at least for the first payment. You can use a money order if you're making your second or third payment down the road, but your first payment does have to come through check or uh, personal check or bank draft, no cashier's checks. And then obviously as a producer, you can't pay for it unless it's something you're writing on yourself. Um, nice thing is about you know a product that builds cash values, you do have the ability to take loans. So minimum loan is $500 and the interest rate for, if you take a loan out, it's set annually, currently it's at four and a half percent. And then it just accrues daily, compounds annually. You can pay it back or not. And uh, you know if you ever do end up taking loans out and the, and the loan amount and the interest exceeds what the cash value is, then that would actually terminate your plan. Uh, but assuming you didn't do that at the time of death, whatever death benefit that you purchased is paid out minus any loan amounts and any accrued interest on it. So uh, nice option to be able to have. And then we also have the automatic premium loan provision. So that comes into play typically, like if somebody, you know, maybe they change banks or they move or they, they forget that they had a draft coming out of account and all of a sudden we go to take the payment, there's no money there or the account's closed. We do have the ability if they choose the automatic premium loan to then just automatically start taking loans against their cash value so that the policy doesn't lapse and then give them time to be able to get back um, with their banking information. So if we were to do an automatic premium loan and they had something other than monthly, we would automatically change it to a monthly payment so that we're not taking too much of the cash value or only just necessary amount to be able to keep it in force. There are a couple options for non forfeiture or surrenders. So you can either take a cash surrender. So you would just terminate the coverage for whatever the cash value currently is, or you can take a reduced paid up amount. So in which then basically your cash value is used to purchase just a chunk of paid up insurance. And that paid up amount must be at least a thousand 